Hi and welcome, my name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video, we're going to look at how to delete the contents of the selected cell by using the keyboard key delete. So it's pretty straightforward and with that, let's get started. Now, in our last video, we looked at using the delete key here, which would move cells up or to the left. If we use the keyboard shortcut control minus, it would also ask us if we wanna move shells, cells to the left or up. But there are gonna be occasions where you want all of your cells to have the same location that they want it, but just clear the data or delete the contents of a cell. The way that you can do that is by pressing the delete key. The delete key is not going to be the same as your backspace key. If you press the delete key, it would delete the contents of those cells. However, if you were to select several cells, we'll select these cells. If you press the backspace key, it will just delete the contents of your current cell or your active cell. So thus, you'll notice that my active cell here is A7. We know that because the cell is within this kind of gray box, but it itself is white. So when we press backspace, it would delete that content. And backspace, we delete that individual cell. You can manually press backspace and delete all of those contents, but it's much faster to just hit the delete key and delete everything in that selected area. So again, in this video, we looked at All right, in this video, we looked at how if we wanted to delete all the contents in this video in this range, we would press the delete key. This is different than pressing the backspace key, which would allow us to delete the contents of our active cell, our active cell being this one in white. And this is very different than pressing control minus, which would not only delete the contents of specific cells, but either move them up or to the left. So in our next video, we will look at the idea of hiding columns. We'll look at the keyboard shortcut of control O and a couple other methods in order to hide columns within Excel. So check that out in our next video and we'll see you again soon. Thanks.